What's going on everybody? Thanks for watching. So in this video, I'm actually going to show you guys how I prep my chicken for dinner, for dieting. I have all my ingredients here. A lot of you have been commenting and requesting some recipes from me. And not only will this be the first and only recipe, but we have many more to come after this. White meat chicken is among the best and one of the leanest sources of protein out there. So we eat a lot of it here. And I figured today, why not show you guys how I prep my chicken the way I like it. So you guys can do it at home too. Alright, let's get started. Alright guys, so the first thing I do is what I take, I take my chicken and you got to make sure the cutting board you're actually using is very clean and sanitized before you put it on there. If you're going to use anything afterwards, obviously you want to clean it and sanitize it so anything you're cutting on, there's no cross contamination and uh, your vegetables, you know, don't take in any bacteria. I chopped up some vegetables already. I have some garlic, I got zucchini, green pepper, and onion with some spices. Okay, so I have my chicken fillets here. I usually prefer thin cut tenderloins, just like this. So first, what you do is take a little ground pepper, and you're just going to sprinkle them over. Like I said in my last video when I did some cooking, if you're cooking in somebody else's house, let them know you're going to make a little bit of a mess. But right here we have Italian seasoning, some thyme, some oregano, some basil. And I have some regular oregano, not with the thyme. I just like to put a little drop of that. Love oregano. And then I have the last, I have a little bit of garlic powder, just a sprinkle. Because we already have some garlic. And Flip every single one of your chicken fillets over. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. Now that I have my chicken flipped over and ready to season the other side, I go back to the ground pepper. And my Italian seasonings. My basil. Some whole oregano. Last but not least, some garlic powder with a little bit of chopped parsley inside. Alright, one last thing before I'm actually going to put the chicken onto my pan right here. I'm just going to take a fork, regular fork. And what you want to do is you just want to stab the chicken. Just get some holes in it so the heat from the pan goes right through and cooks it a little bit faster. This is a key to cooking it faster and making it more convenient. Another advantage that stabbing the chicken prior to with a fork, um, it holds the seasonings better. I'm going to use some red wine vinegar and when I put it over the chicken on the pan, it'll absorb it a little bit better and hold that flavor in for the whole time it's cooking and uh, just provide for a tastier piece. As you can see, we're using spices and all natural ingredients, no artificial flavors here. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take some olive oil cooking spray. Spray circular motions. Ignite your stove. Next is the minced garlic. Now that we have our minced garlic sauteing a little bit, make sure you spread it out. Put some red wine vinegar in there. Once it has a little sizzle, you keep your stove on in between high and medium heat the whole time. Once the chicken starts to take a golden brown color around the edges, put it on low. Looks like the bottom of my chicken is starting to get a little white, meaning that it's starting to cook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. What it's supposed to look like. The first flip. 
it. I'm gonna add the last two pieces in right now. If there's one thing I've learned about chicken, is that when you cook it, it always shrinks. So don't feel afraid to put six fillets on one pan, cook it all up at one time. I can tell you from experience, it's okay. As you can see, the chicken's starting to brown up a little. That means you're almost done. Another two to three minutes of just letting it cook on high. Sometimes I can check the tenderness by just taking the spatula and with a fork and just seeing the difference. Good piece of chicken right there. About one more minute and we should be good. We can look something like this. For any side dishes like your vegetables, just re reset your pan a little bit. Right back on. It's already gonna be pretty hot. That's my vegetables. I season them with the same spices. Just throw them right on there. Vegetables are a little golden brown, they're taking in all the red wine vinegar and the spices. Ready to go right on the side. As you guys can see, this is the finished result. We have our chicken, our veggies. We made a little bit more chicken than we're going to actually eat tonight. I'm going to put about half of this into the fridge for tomorrow. But like I said, chicken's good. You know keep it in the fridge for about three to four days you want to eat it in that time span but it took us about 15 to 20 minutes to make it's very very quick very very easy for you guys and I really hope that the way I showed you how to do it helps Carly will tell you that this chicken has the best flavor I promise I'm not just tooting my own horn but um yeah this is it guys the ones you guys saw me post on Instagram that was basically the same we use balsamic you know I just use different vegetables and stuff but you saw how I did it you could change it up use a different type of sauce hot sauce balsamic, um, we use the red wine vinegar tonight, and then with the spices, that's the way I like mine, prepped, you guys obviously put the spices that you like too, you put a little cayenne pepper, paprika, whatever you guys want. I appreciate you guys watching and asking for this, I was happy to make it, I know Carly's going to be happy I made it. Thank you all for the feedback, like I said, keep letting me know what you want to see, I love helping you guys, I love the interaction, and I really appreciate all the kind words and all the sincere comments from you guys on YouTube. And, across the board, every social network, whatever it is. But um, thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.